It was 7.7 and we got this router right here. So this is the Huawei Wi-Fi AX3 Quad-Core. That's the full name but I'm only going to call it the Wi-Fi AX3. And uh, this router is only priced at 299 ringgit. I don't know why Wi-Fi 6 routers are so cheap and I'm really glad that's the case because this router right here is total trash. So there are a couple of reasons why we got this router in the first place. Number one, Wi-Fi 6. More and more phones are using Wi-Fi 6, even laptops. And Wi-Fi 6 supports both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz, so it's a direct replacement of the previous generations of Wi-Fi. And the second reason, the biggest one of all, is because this router is totally rubbish because the 5 GHz network just outright don't work. It will drop suddenly and it's just very unreliable. So because of the price of this router, we decided to take a look. So let's do a quick unboxing to see what comes with it. Okay, so now let's open up. The packaging seems to be simple enough. A tap at the bottom, rip that out, and the whole thing opens up like this. Ooh, very nice packaging. It's all white and even the packaging goes to show that this is more like a lifestyle kind of product. And here's the router itself. I'm gonna take a peek at the ports first. And what comes with it is of course the adapter and also a flat ribbon ethernet jack which is kind of normal. Warranty card and also user manual I suppose. We're not gonna need that. So okay, one more feature that I forgot to highlight. On the box itself, it does say that this router supports Huawei Share. So this is not the usual Huawei Share that you know of, but this one is just to easily connect your phones with the Wi-Fi connection. So it has NFC, tap your phone on it and then it will automatically connect. So you don't have to fingle around, is it fingle around? Yeah, you don't have to mess around with WPS. So it's a very nice feature overall. So this power adapter here is a pretty low power one. It's a 12 watt power adapter. So you know this Wi-Fi router is going to be power efficient. And over on the router itself, the ports are pretty simple. So you got a barrel jack here, three LAN ports and a single WAN port. So all of these are gigabit only. So one GBPS is all you get. And then there's also another reset and a power switch at the back. This power switch is not those spring-loaded ones, it's a button which you can press. And in terms of longevity, this is going to be better because my home's router with the spring-loaded power button, that thing just straight up broke. And over at the front here, you also got an indicator LED to tell you the status of the router itself. And that's pretty much it. The design of this router is pretty simple. It's kind of futuristic looking and yet it's kind of non-distinct. So let's hook this up and see how things go. So if you're using a fiber optic connection at home like Unify, so you will have two things at home. One is the BTU modem which is at the bottom and this one is the router itself which we are going to call it trash. So at the back here, we have two cables connected. Most of you will also have two cables connected. One is the WAN port and then another one is the power port. Just rip this out, throw it away and for the WAN port, plug it out Hold it for a while and plug it into the WAN port of the new Huawei AX3 router. So yeah, that's the WAN port and it's plugged in. So now for the power, plug that in as well and you're good to go. You can see that the LED is red which means it's turned on. So assuming that I don't know how to configure a router, especially this router, Huawei did say that they have this Huawei AI Live app that communicates with the router so I'm gonna set up using this method instead because let's face it, most of you don't even have a laptop nowadays. So I'm just going to... Oh, okay, it already found the router itself which it just says unconfigured router uh, was found. Do you want to configure it now? So now I'm just going to tap on configure and it just says uh, I can connect to it right away. I just press connect and let's just see what happens. Oh, that's fast. Okay, so there are some terms and conditions that I need to agree on. This is the EULA, End User License Agreement. And also, this one is for some sort of maintenance time. So I'm just going to give it 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. for the firmware updates. And then it's going to configure some of the things. Yeah, technically it's going to do its AI stuff. 
Okay, manually configure the network. Okay, I'm gonna press next. And uh, for Unify users out there, these are the few things that you need to take note of. So broadband account, I'm just going to key it in first. So when you enter your Unify account and password, these are the information that you need to get from Unify themselves or TM in this case. And remember, for Unify Maxis users, remember to take VLAN and select custom. And from here, you need to scroll down to select Unify and then press connect. So once you're connected to the internet, the next menu here is telling you that if you want to combine your 5 GHz network with your 2.4 GHz network in a single network name, also known as SSID. Uh, if you want to do this, you can, but for us, we prefer not to. So we're going to disable that and we're going to put our Wi-Fi name and password. We'll be right back. Okay, so once you got everything connected, this menu will pop up and it just says that your router has been successfully installed and all of your Wi-Fi network information will be shown here. If you want to show your password, just press here. I'm not going to press it because I'll just need to censor it afterwards anyway. So get started and yeah, it shows up right here. So we can log in. So now we got everything connected and you can see that the router is now in green color. So that means everything is working and we can confirm back in the Huawei AI Live app as well because we just logged into the router through the app itself. And this dashboard is fantastic because what we can see here is the internet quality itself. So it just says excellent. Uh, there's also another turbo jet rocket here. I suppose that's to do your speed test, but I'm not going to do it now. And you can also see the total amount of download and upload speeds and the total number of connected devices to this router. And yeah, you also have guest network if you want to set it up. We are going to set it up later because, you know, office, we're going to have guests. So a guest network is really useful. And you can even show more options here so you can manage update. I suppose this is to firmware update the router itself to, you know, enhance some features and whatnot and Wi-Fi management signal strength, I suppose this is where you can select your Wi-Fi's channel. One more feature that I want to show you here is kind of a first world problem for me. So you can go into the more settings part, go into router settings and then router indicator light. You can turn off the indicator LED because for people like me, I get really annoyed by blinking lights in my peripheral vision. So it's good that Huawei included this option to just outright turn off the light itself. So these are the steps you need to take while setting up your brand new Huawei Wi-Fi AX3 router. It's really simple and very intuitive, especially when you have that Huawei AI Live app installed on your phone too. And you can also set up using your conventional methods through your laptop or desktop. It doesn't matter. We are just using a phone here because everyone has phones, right? Do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys so now before we end this, we're going to update the firmware. Just press update and yeah, it's going to do its thing. So do stay tuned in a future video where we do a full on review of this router itself in terms of speed, connectivity and how we just get by through our day to day users. So that's all for this video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.